Good morning, Philadelphia. Good morning, Baby Prophet Awakening Prayer. Go follow Awakening Prayer. That's our ministry here in South Florida. Good morning, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Praise God. West Virginia. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Chicago, Bristol, South Jersey, Melbourne, Idaho, Charlotte, London, New Orleans. Come on, Iowa. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. We're going to start our prophetic prayer in just a minute. Waiting on everyone to get settled. Roanoke, Virginia, Australia, Cincinnati, Trinidad, and Tobago. Where have you been? Praise God. Good morning, Apostle Fayetteville. Good morning, Tampa, Mesquite, Texas, Virginia. A lot of Virginians on the broadcast today. Good morning. It's time to start pressing. There's a key that I want to share with you this morning. Puerto Rico in the house. Share this with your friends. Hit the share button. Invite your followers. Share it on Facebook. I'm glad you've been on all the time. Praise God. Trinidad and Tobago. Mega morning. Authorized. You got it. We're pressing. Hello, Kentucky, Wyoming, Edie Allen, Apostle Stovall, good to see you. Praise God. We're going to start in about 30 seconds. It's going to be good. Pray in the spirit. If you can pray in the spirit, we're pressing. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. All right, guys. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, author of our devotional, Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still small voice of God. Also, Evenings with the Holy Spirit, the much-anticipated sequel. It's it's out. It's there for you. Grab hold of it. Visit my website, jenniferleclair.org, to find that there. Today's devotion titled, Guard Your Heart Against Deception. Judge not lest you be judged, says the Lord, but know those who labor among you. Try the spirits to see if they are of God. Use the discernment I have given you, says God. Sharpen your spiritual perception by being a student of the word. For many false prophets have gone out into the world, seeking to deceive the hearts of men. Gaze upon Jesus, says God, and you will be quicker to recognize the false workers, the false gospels, and the false doctrines. Doctrines. Guard your heart and know that Jesus is coming soon. Watch and pray. My God, that's a good word this morning for somebody, for all of us. We've got to watch. We've got to pray. We've got to be diligent, diligent, discerning. Father, I thank you for that uh, warning. And all your uh, New Testament uh, uh, epistles and gospels, it's all there, warning after warning after warning to, to, to be uh, on guard against deception. So we thank you, Lord, for that. Scripture references for today, Matthew 7, verse 1. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 12 and Luke chapter 21 and verse 36. And the prayer starter for today, help me to guard my heart. I don't want to be deceived by the wickedness rising up in this generation. Help me to keep my eyes firmly focused on Christ and to heed his word so I will discern the difference between truth and error. Father, we thank you this morning that you are truth. You are the truth. You are the truth. We praise you, God, that you are the truth and the spirit of truth lives on the inside of us. We're so grateful for you, God. Oh, how excellent is your name and your glory is above the earth. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. We adore you. We lift up the name of Jesus. There is no other God like you. No other God like you. No other God worthy of comparison to Jehovah God, to Jehovah Rapha, to Jehovah, uh, uh, the, our provider. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord, that you have it all covered. Oh, thank you, God. That's for somebody. You 
You've got it all covered. You've got it all covered. You've got it all covered. You've got us covered. You have covered us. You have kept us. You have preserved us. You have saved us. You have healed us. You have delivered us. It's all provided for in salvation. God, we praise your holy name this morning. It is a holy name. It is a perfect name. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing in this hour in our lives. Oh, there's some of you listening to the sound of my voice and you can't see what God is doing. You just can't see it. You just can't see it. And you wonder, does God even hear my prayers? But the Lord would say to you, not only do I hear your prayers, but I'm working it all out for you. I'm answering you. I am pouring out prayer answers over your life and you might not see it yet. You might not sense it yet. You might not even have the confidence yet of what I am doing, but take another look, says God. Take another look. Take another look. Gaze upon my beauty. Let your heart be inclined toward my heart. Let us have that divine uh, connection, says God. The enemy comes and he tries to to stall you. He tries to, to stop you. He tries to get you to look at everything but me. But look at me. Take another look. Take a second look. Take a third look. Take a fourth look. Take a fifth look, says God. Take a sixth look. Take a seventh look. Look at me all the days of your life. Take as many looks as it takes to renew your mind, says God, because I have something for you that's greater than you can see. But as long as you're looking with natural eyes, you won't see it. You have to look through spiritual eyes. You have to look through my eyes. I will help you to see things through my eyes, says God, if you will just give your heart to me fully and not be swayed by all of the issues round and about you that defy my will for you. Oh, Jesus, would you help us this morning to keep our eyes on you, God. Would you help us this morning to keep our eyes on you, God, to look and look again and look again and look again and look again and look again. Just like Elijah, he saw a cloud the size of a man's hand. It wasn't raining yet. It wasn't, it wasn't pouring out water yet. It wasn't raining. It wasn't raining. And his servant came and he said, I don't see anything. And he said, go back and look again. And it still wasn't raining. And his servant came back and said, I don't see anything. And Elijah said, go back and look again, go back and look again go back and look again and his servant finally came back on the seventh time and says I see it I see it I see it I see I see that cloud of the size of a man's hand it just started out as a little bit it started out just as a small thing but then it began to rain and the famine ceased I'm here to tell you today by the spirit of the Lord the famine in your life it's about to cease oh my God my God some of you have had a famine in your finances it's about to cease just look again look at Jesus look at your provider oh just look at Jesus look at Jehovah God he's your provider Jehovah Jireh oh that famine in your life that financial famine it's about to cease it's about to cease it's about to cease get your mind off your wallet get your eyes off your bank account and put them on Jesus oh my God my God put them on Jesus put them on Jesus Jehovah Jireh I thank you Lord some of you have had a relational famine in your life you're looking for friends You're looking for company. You're looking for those who will run with you. You're looking for those to align with. You're looking for those, those divine connections. You've had a relational famine in your life. I'm here to tell you, look upon Jesus, look upon Jesus. He is a friend that sticks closer to a, than a brother. He is a father who is faithful and good and true. Oh, his spirit lives on the inside of you. He is your counselor. He is your companion. He is your standby. He is your advocate. He is your intercessor. He is your very present help in time of need oh look again look again look again that relational famine it's about to it's about to be reversed oh I can just see it there are divine connections oh they're right around the corner they're right around the corner they're right around the corner just look just look again just pay attention just be discerning oh those Saul's came and tried to squash you those ones who didn't celebrate you they were jealous of you they they came in even to divide to divide I see a division a divide they were trying to divide these souls these soul spirits these soul prototypes they tried to divide you from your closest friends they tried to divide you from your purpose and calling they try to divide you oh but the Lord is not bringing a division he's bringing a divine connection he's not bringing connections that divide he's bringing divine connections he's not bringing connections that divide that try to take from you that try to separate things from you that God wants you to have no 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 he's bringing divine connections not connections that divide divine connections not connections that divide divine connections not connections that divide
right. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you this morning. Oh, we see this co- a cloud the size of a man's hand. It's small now, but it's about to rain. Your glory, it's about to fall. Oh, it's just a little trickle now, but it's about to be a flood. And that flood is going to eradicate the famine. Ah, shakatarawashtekete. That flood, it's about to eradicate the famine. I said the flood. Oh, it's just the size of a man's head now. It's just a trickle. It's just a little, it's just a little spurt. It's just a little river. Oh, but it's about to be a tsunami. That flood, that flood, that flood, that flood, it's coming and it's going to eradicate the famine. I said provision is coming to you. Praise God. I said relational increase is coming to you. Hallelujah. I said, oh, even healing, 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 the healing power of God. I release it in the name of the Lord. Some of you have had a a famine in your body. You just don't feel good. Oh my God, help me, Jesus. You just don't feel good. You feel worn out. You're just tired. You're sick and tired and you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're tired and sick and you're sick and tired and you're tired and sick and you're sick and tired and you're tired and sick and you're sick and tired. It's a famine of wellness. It's a famine of health. It's a famine of healing. Oh, but I see the cloud of the size of a man's hand and the healing power is coming unto you. If you'll just believe, if you'll just receive, if you'll just look again, if you'll just look at Jesus again, Jesus, your healer, Jesus, your healer, Jesus, your healer. If you'll just look again, if you'll just look again, just keep on looking. Oh, just keep on looking. You might not see it now. You might not even believe it now, but would you just keep on looking, keep on looking, keep on looking, keep on looking. What choice do you have beloved? Oh, if you're sick and tired and tired and sick and sick and tired and tired and sick, look to the healer. Oh, just keep your eyes on him. The author and finisher of your faith, the author and finisher of your healer, the author and finisher of everything in your life. He is the author of all good things. He's not the author of sickness. He's not the author of poverty. He's not the author of strife, but he is the author of peace. He is the author of faith. He is the author of healing. He is the author of joy. He is the author of all good things. He's a good, good father. Oh, we praise you, God. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Father. We praise you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, we thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, we thank you, Holy Ghost. We thank you, Lord. You are good. You are a good, good father. You are awesome in power. You are mighty. 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 We're going to keep looking at you, Jesus. We're going to keep looking at you, our good, good father. We're going to keep on looking at you. We're going to look again and 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 again. And I just see prophetically, it's like every time we look at Jesus, it's like Naaman when he dipped in the river. Hear me now. Every time we look at Jesus, it's like Naaman when he dipped in the river. And the Lord told him to go dip in the river to get rid of that leprosy. He said, go dip seven times. Go dip seven times, seven times, seven times. Go dip seven times. Go dip seven times in that river. Oh, every time we go and look for Jesus, it's like dipping in the river. Every time we lock eyes, oh, with his eyes of fire. Every time we lock eyes, oh, Jesus, with his eyes of fire. It's like dipping in that river. And whatever's there, whatever's upon us, whatever's on the inside of us, that's not supposed to be in us. Whatever doubt is in our soul, whatever fear is in our heart, whatever's there, whatever's there, whatever's there, that's not supposed to be there. When we dip in the river, when we see the eyes of fire, it just burns it away. It just washes us clean. Oh, it cleanses us. It cleanses us from spiritual leprosy, from doubt, from fear, from shame, from guilt, from condemnation. Oh God, oh God, oh God, it cleanses us. Oh, we gaze into the eyes of fire. And it just burns away everything that hinders love. It burns it all away. It burns it all away. So we're going to look at you, Jesus. We're going to look at you. We're going to, we're going to lock eyes with you, our eyes, with your eyes of fire. And we're going to let those eyes of fire just look right through us. Just burn right through us to the other side. Just burn right through us to the other side. Just burn right through us. Just burn away all the things that hinder love, all the things that hinder faith. Oh God, would you help us this morning? 
I thank you, Lord, for your goodness. I thank you, Lord, for your glory. I thank you, Lord, for your goodness. I thank you, Lord, for your glory. I thank you, Lord, for your goodness. I thank you, Lord, for your glory. Oh, burn through us, God. Shine through us, God. Like John the Baptist, we want to be those who burn and shine for you, God. We don't want to be hindered by our past. We don't want to be hindered by our present. Oh, Jesus. We don't want to be hindered by a health issue. We don't want to be hindered by a financial issue. Let your flood come and eradicate the famine. Oh, shakataramashte, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Let your flood come and eradicate the fire. Let uh, the famine. Let your flood come and eradicate the famine. Let your flood come and eradicate the famine. The Lord shows me that some of you have been in famine, but he wants to set you on fire. And when the flood comes to eradicate the famine, the fire is going to burn in you. And that first love that you had, that fire that you once had, that the famine tried to quench. Oh, you're going to be on fire again. Oh, the Lord is going to set you on fire again oh the Lord is going to set you on fire again oh that sickness and that tiredness and that drama and that trauma it quenched your fire it's just burning it's just burning it's just burning low it's burning low it's burning low but it's about to rage that fire on the inside of you it's about to rage but the Lord says let it Oh, shakata. He says, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it. You've got to let my fire burn in you. Don't quench it. Don't hold it down. Don't let anybody tell you you're too on fire. You've got too much fire. You're too fiery. Oh, don't let those religious spirits quench your fire, says God. Oh, don't let them do it this time like they did it last time. Oh, some of you are on fire at one point, but you got it at dead, dumb church. Oh, karabashte. Don't get mad at me now. I'm trying to help you. The Lord shows me you were on fire at one point, but you got in a dead dumb church and they won't let you pray in tongues and they won't let you have their hands on the sick and all they want to do is is sing happy nice kumbaya songs oh they're putting you to sleep your fire has been it's been it's been it's been like like water like water like water poured on your fire oh the lord is sending a flood against the famine but he's not sending a flood that puts out your fire i thank you lord i thank you lord for all those lord who are in dead dumb churches that you would deliver them god in the name of the lord that they might find a place to connect where where your fire is burning, where your fire on the altar never goes out, God, in the name of Jesus. Ignite our hearts, God, with your love, in Jesus' name. Do it for your glory, God. 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 There is no other God like you. And we love you, Lord. We praise you and we thank you, Jesus. Oh, we're so happy in God. We're so happy in God. We're so joyful in you. We're so peaceful in you. I decree and declare, oh, this is who we are. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I say you are greater. You are greater. You are greater because the greater one lives on the inside of you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world you shall lend to many nations and never have to borrow praise God you are blessed coming in and blessed going out oh you are the head and not the tail above only and not beneath praise God you are who God says you are you can have what God says you can have you can do what God says you can do I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me you can do all things through Christ who strengthens me God said abide in me and I will abide in you and whatever you ask in my name I will do it for you I thank you Lord for that that abiding I thank you Lord for that abiding I thank you Lord teach us to abide in you Jesus ah shakata come on intercessors listen to me you want to be more effective in your intercession abide in Jesus spend time with the Lord listen to me intercessors you want to be more effective in your intercession abide in Jesus abide in him spend time in his presence why abide in me and my word abides in you and you can ask anything in my name and I'll do it for you says Jesus oh my God my God that's the Bible that's scripture that's what the word says hallelujah abide in me and with my, when you abide in me and my word abides in you meditate on the word of God spend time in his presence listen to me intercessors the Lord wants to use you in this hour he wants to use you in this hour he wants to use you he's mantling you with boldness I said it some months ago I prophesied it he's mantling the intercessors with boldness praise God Praise God, 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 Jesus, my God, hallelujah. 
I got one more thing I want to share with you. I wrote it down on a little piece of paper and it's in my pocket because I was reading the Psalms this morning. Praise Jesus. I love to read the Psalms. I've been in a season of Psalm reading. Why? Because when you go through seasons where, where the Lord is trying to draw you closer to him and give them, give you a revelation of him, the Psalms are just full. They're just full. They're just full. They're just full. They're just full of inspiration about the faithfulness of God. Praise God. I want to remind you of a few things uh, before I share this now. I want to remind you of a few things before I share this. Now, intercessors, listen to me. Here's two things for intercessors. Go to undergroundprayer.com. Go to undergroundprayer.com. The Lord is mantling intercessors with boldness. We've got thousands in there. Uh, we're praying uh, things, uh, the, the bold prayers, uh, 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 prayers that intercessors who are bold want to pray. Not, not, not patty cake prayers. Praise God. There's nothing wrong with patty cake prayers. But I'm talking about real intercession. If that's you, you just want to be part of a hardcore group of intercessors. It's free. There's no charge to it. It's just a group. Go to undergroundprayer.com. Get hooked up in there. Praise God. Uh, Awakening Blaze. I need some intercessors to join. Join me in turning the nations upside down. Awakening Blaze, awake, uh, undergroundprayer.com, sing, singular. Awakeningblaze.com, go there. We are going to officially, listen to me now, we are going to officially launch these prayer spokes on July the 5th. You will receive leaders who have been approved, leaders who have contacted us, you've been interviewed, leaders in cities around the country, around the nation. Awakeningblaze.com, you are going to receive your instructions on July the 5th. Then we're going to have a, a, a follow-up call with all the the leaders and then we're going to begin having interest calls to gather more intercessors praise God to, to join with you somebody emailed us well I can't find any intercessors well you know it's not always easy you know in three days to find them four days five days you might have to pray alone for for a month or two but we're going to have interest calls and outreaches to connect intercessors with the intercessory prayer leaders under the awakening blaze prayer movement so we're going to help you find your intercessors don't be discouraged I know we all want to get out and run and that's admirable you want to find them in a day, two days, a week, three weeks. Sometimes it doesn't work that way. You might have to just start your your your, your prayer spoke, your prayer furnace by yourself for a little while. When I was started Awakening House of Prayer, I had to sit there by myself for a little while. It's not that way any longer, but sometimes the Lord wants to test your faithfulness. So don't be discouraged by that. But we are going to connect you with intercessors. We are working on it. So you're going to get your leadership packets. Uh, but go to AwakeningBlaze.com if you want to be an intercessor. You might not want to be a leader, but you might want to be an intercessor intercessor awakeningblaze.com it's a movement a prayer movement in the nations we're going to launch over 50 of them uh, in the first month uh, uh, of the launches in July we're going to launch over 50 of them okay so get ready get ready get ready praise God if you want to sow out of your financial famine maybe this word today was something that sparked your spirit maybe this word today was something that 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 uh, helped your heart if there's been a famine a relational famine you don't got no divine connections no right alignments you can't find them. If there's been some kind of famine in your life, sow a seed, break the cycle, uh, partner with me, help me to get the word out. I'm going to the nations with the word of God. I need those who will stand with me as instructed by the Lord, not in a fleshly way, not in, I just got excited this morning, but people who are being led by the Lord to partner with me in prayer, to partner with me financially. I need your help to do what God has called me to do. Consider listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit and seeing what he might say. Praise God. Bless those who bless you. If you want to donate you can go to jenniferleclair.org slash donate jenniferleclair.org slash donate thank you brown uh, i uh, butter fly brown butterfly got you jenniferleclair.org slash donate and there's testimonies coming in of the increase in people's lives from sowing into this ministry it's all god it's all god it's all god jenniferleclair.org slash uh, donate you can go there you can partner you can do a one-time donation you paypal people that have to that have to use paypal for whatever reason uh, you can go to paypal.me slash jennifer leclaire it's easy. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You don't even have to be a member of PayPal. Just PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. Or if you're a text to give person, text the word pray, P-R-A-Y, to 754-701-2161. Thank you, Edie Allen. You're a blessing. 754-701-2161. Thank you, Carol. Yeah, PayPal, PayPal is probably easiest for many of you, especially if you're in the nations of the earth. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Felicia Tucker. Jamil before the throne go follow their ministries praise be to the living God hallelujah
Yes, yeah, stop sowing into dead things. We need to stop sowing into dead things. If you're not seeing a, a fruit in your life and your finances, you might be sowing in the wrong place. Let me just tell you about 30 seconds worth of this year. You know, if you sow into, into, into fallow ground, if you sow into dry ground, if you sow into crusty ground, you know, it's, it's really hard to get a, a 30, 60, 100 fold return on that. God does uh, abide by the law of sowing and reaping. But if you're seeing like just a little, if you're not seeing a, 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 a strong, uh, harvest from your sowing you may be sowing in the wrong place it could just also be that you're sowing and, and there's a, a delayed harvest for other reasons but you got to ask the Lord if you're not seeing a harvest on your sowing because God he, the Bible says God will shall not be mocked whatever you sow you're going to reap you're going to reap you're going to reap and so if you're not reaping if there's no harvest you got to give the Lord am I being disobedient am I withholding something you're telling me to give am I being uh, am I sowing in the wrong place have you told me to sow somewhere and I missed your voice and my harvest was my my hundredfold was over here but I didn't do it I delayed I wasn't obedient I kept it from ask the Lord ask the Lord ask the Lord. He's, he's trying to get blessings to you he's not trying yes yeah, so where you're being fed that's a really great uh, yeah if you're getting increase in your spirit so so uh, that was a good word right there. If you're getting increase in your spirit through a ministry, that, that's an indicator you should sow there because then you'll get even more increase. You put your, your, your finances where your spiritual growth is and, and you'll see more spiritual growth. You'll see more financial growth. That's just the way that it works. So that's my 30 seconds on teaching you about harvest. If you're not seeing harvest, you got to get with the Lord. Am I sowing in the wrong place? Am I not sowing enough? Am I, am I, am I, you know, what am I doing? What's going on? He wants to bless you. He wants to increase you. Praise God. Felice Tucker's on a, on a roll. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. What else do I want to tell you this morning? I got one more thing I want to share with you. One more key to increase. I'm going to release that in just a moment. It's in my pocket. I want to read it to you and I want to pray over you. Uh, what, am I, what am I missing? Oh, join my, uh, my angels uh, book group, uh, my angels group on Facebook. It's, it's free. Just go join it. Just go on my Facebook and uh, go on Facebook and type in uh, activating your angels on assignment. Uh, and you'll find that group there. I'm going to be putting a special uh, discount code for the launch of my book in that group. That's the only place I'm going to release it. Uh, so if you want to... Uh if you want to get the special discount, go in there in that group. I'm going to release a special discount code so you can get the brand new book, Angels on Assignment Again, and also my new CD that I'm going to have in my hands later this afternoon uh, if I'm home. Uh, it's called uh, uh, Prayers That Activate Angels. I've also got a book that I released earlier in the year called Angels uh, of abundant harvest and I've got a new t-shirt that says uh, 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 my angels are on assignment so I'm just really sensitive now to the realm of angels and I want you to open your eyes to that realm and why the t-shirt because it just helps remind us just helps remind you know we wear Gucci or we wear you know Banana Republic or whatever brand you wear and that reminds you of, of whatever that reminds you of I, I believe in, in wearing things that remind me of of the kingdom and the promises of God not always obviously but that's why I love these t-shirts because that's that help so if you want to go if you want to be in the in the angels group it's free just go to facebook and type in activating your angels on assignment or jennifer leclerc angels you'll find it you'll find it you'll find it uh, ebay store i'm checking into that uh baby prophet write a note on that please check into the ebay store i still think the shipping is going to be crazy but baby prophet write that down uh, about the eBay store. We need to check into that because I've got so many international uh, people wanting to get hold of these things and they can't figure out how to do it. So please, baby prophet, write it down. Baby prophet, can you hear me, baby prophet? Praise God. The angel conference. You guys are helping me with my announce announcements. Naomi Rain will be with me July 28th, 29th, 30th. We do have hotel blocks, discounted hotel rates if you want to come down here for that. There's going to be angelic encounters at this conference. I'm going to teach on angels. Naomi's going to sing the presence of the Lord in. And thank you, uh, uh, prophet uh, we are going to uh, 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 pray and believe God for uh, an, another realm of understanding of angels and how to release angels uh, come on down praise be to the living God uh, ignite if you want to join my prophetic network ignite now.org ignite now I'm giving you so much I'm going to stop there but ignite now.org is my network it's my prophetic network if you want to be part of that just go to ignite now.org read about the encounter of the Lord and some of my igniters are on here my igniter 
my Ignite ambassadors are on here so they can uh, they can tell you during the worship time if you have a question about Ignite, uh, Jamila or Felicia or Edie Allen or, or Carol, uh, one of them or some others that are on here, Jeff Grasmick can uh, can help you with that. Praise God. Uh, watch online. We probably are going to have a streaming for the conference. Yes, but it's going to be probably donation based. We've, we're having to to spend a quite a good a bit of money setting up IT infrastructure and it looks like we're going to have to get new cameras. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, all right, Jamila. Uh, praise God. Thank you for being on. Uh, listen, I want to pray for you. I want to share with you this last thing. Uh, you can also just go to my website, jenniferleclair.org. We are working on a page where we have all this listed for you so that in case you can't remember it, I'm almost done with that page. Uh, here's, here's what I wanted to share with you. Listen, trust. Trust. Laura was really speaking to me this morning in my uh, devotions about trust, trust, trust. You know, there's a Psalm, uh, I think it's Psalm 139. And in the Bible says, those who knew, those who, those who know your name will put their trust in you. Listen, those who know your name will put their trust in you. Those who know your name will put their trust in you. So we, you're, let me just tell you this, your, your, your increase, this is what I felt, your increase, your next season, the entryway, it's on the other side of your decision to trust God because there's some things that are going on that are contrary to what you think they should be. And you're waiting, some of you, for uh, situations and circumstances to be perfect before you'll do what you feel in your heart God's told you to do, before you'll let go of something you feel in your heart God is wanting you to let go of. Those who know your name will put their trust in you. See, there's something about the name of Jesus. Those who know your name, how do you get to know? Meditate on that. See, that's what I do when I get a scripture and it like jumped off the page of me. I didn't keep reading on down the psalm. I just sat there and read that scripture over and over. That's how you meditate on the word. I just sat there and read it. Those who know, those who know your name, those who know your name will they will, they shall put their trust in you. Those who know, what does it mean to know? What does it mean to know the name of the Lord? It's not just, yeah, I know Jesus, mm-hmm. Jehovah Jireh. Mm-hmm. No, those, those who know, those who know, those who meditate on, on the power in the name, those who, who meditate on the many different expressions of the name of the Lord, Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals me. If you need healing, know Jehovah Rapha, know that name. Jehovah Jireh, if you need provision, those who know your name, they, they, they know, they know your name. Those who know your name will put their, will put their, if you know the name of the Lord, you will put your trust in him. So a key to trusting God more is to, is to, is to know his name. He is our everything. He is our victory banner. He is our, our, our alpha, our omega. He is our faithful witness. There's a name of God that matches your need for increase. There's so many names for God. Know his name. So let me pray that over you. Father, I thank you this morning. I could teach on that more. I'm not going to, but I want to just give you that nugget. I believe it's Psalm, I believe it's Psalm 139 or Psalm, I think Psalm 39. I'm sorry to write it down. I was so excited. I just scribbled it on a paper and ran in here to pray. Father, I thank you this morning that you will help us to trust you more. You are the everlasting God. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the bright and morning star, the lily of the valley, the rose of Sharon. You are our healer, our provider, our counselor, our defender, our vindicator. Those who know the name of the Lord. <laughs> Those who know your name. <laughs> your defender. You're, you are you are provider. You are, you are a, a healer, deliverer. You are a rock and a, a fortress. You are a strong tower. My God, those who, who know your name will, will put their trust in you. God, help us to know your name. Help us to understand who you are. Your increase is on the other side of your trust. It's another level of trust he's trying to get us to. So, Father, help us to trust you all the more. Help us to know your name. Help us to keep you at the center of our focus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise God. We're going to go back into worship. Praise God.